Testing, testing, one, two, three. No. No testing for you, Kayla. Because you failed already. All right, guys, welcome back. This is Jonathan Gardner. I've been on a uh, hiatus, I guess. I don't know what that break. word actually means. It's called a break. It's a break. I've been on a break from Factorio. I do want to get back to it one day, though. I just want to let it build up in me, the urge to play Factorio. And also the not-so-recent updates to the oil thing. It's, I don't know. It kind of makes me upset that they're changing. But that's for the next version of Factorio, not the current version. But anyway, uh, I have been playing several other games in my uh, quest to find something interesting to do. One of those games is not this game. Uh, it's called Dungeons. I had a lot of fun with that. A lot, a lot of fun with Dungeons 3. I think I'll do a playthrough of that. But this is Rise of Industry. I think I'm just now starting to get the hang of it. I've been playing this for, I don't know, probably 20 hours. But I'm just now starting to get the hang of it. I'm going to do a little more difficult level. Normal. Large map. People drive on the right like normal people. And we will see what happens here. So this game is... Uh, I, I could say it's a little bit like Transport Tycoon. Um, Railroad Tycoon, those games. But it's different. It's very different. I have not yet played with using dirigibles to transport materials. But I have played with trains. And trains seem to be a little bit simple. Yes, simple. All right. So the game plan is I want to get like one town. I want to start building farms and supply that town with all of its needs. And then I'm going to start like building up more and more stuff to ship out to the rest of the towns. We'll see what happens. Maybe it'll go well. I'll make a lot of money. But starting with farming, you know, first couple times I played through, I started with steel or something like that. You just can't make a lot of money that way. You need the farms. That's where people buy stuff. Sue, so, we shall see what happens here. I might build like distribution centers where I send like all of the grain or something like that. Okay, so we're paused, I believe. Now I have to choose a place to start. Okay, and let's see, this guy has that stuff. This is good, this is a good sign, having poultry and eggs, that's kind of nice. Lots of good resources here. Iron, I want iron, copper, and coal, I think are the ones that I want. I don't know what to do with oil quite yet. I don't know what to do with oil quite yet. So we're gonna go around the map here. See if there's anybody that has, that's copper. I don't see any coal. Okay, so that guy doesn't have. Tacoma. <laughs> Wait, let's do this again. They're just stealing town names. And again, copper. Lots of copper on this map. You know what I can do is I can do this. I can say, show me the resource names. Iron, coal, and it's just a little bit. Iron, coal, coal. You don't really need that much coal. Let's turn that off. Iron, coal, iron. Hmm, that's good. Ooh, this is a nice big town. Washington. Lots of fish in Washington. We can also go here, not the recipe book, this the overview here. We can see like how many towns needs fish. So there's one town, two, three, four, five. Mm. Californski. <laughs> I don't think that's a real town. <laughs> Six. <clears throat> Looks like just six. Yeah, just six town. And Washington doesn't need... I don't want to build a massive distribution network. Unless... Yeah, there's just fish and stuff around here. Mount Plymouth. Salisbury Mills. Oil, gas, copper, copper, gas, fish, fish. I think I want to start on one of these iron towns. And I, I saw a good one down here because the iron was close together. You need two times as much iron as you need coal. So this looks good. Let me see if I can actually see. One, two. I can't really see the other. 
There, three, four. You can see four coal there. Um, all right, one, two, three, four. Four there. And four. Okay, so we probably, this is probably the best town to start in if I want to eventually do iron and steel and stuff, which I do. There's a little bit of land here to do farms. The terrain is not too terrible. So let's go ahead and play with cannon. So I got to take notes about what I need to build for cannon. They want fish. I can't give you fish. I cannot give you fish. So cannon. They want veggies. They want eggs. Uh, they don't want the chicken, though, so I probably won't do that. Berries. Is that berries or grapes? Berries. And then that's olives. Fish, oranges. Apples and sugar. Let's see what they're hardware store wants looks like they want leather and wool and they also want cotton you can grow cotton and rubber and we can do some wood too if we wanted um, I'm more interested in setting up the farming network So it looks like they want uh, seven per 15 days. So what, let's put down, they want 14 of each, each month. Sugar is 14. Yeah, it's 14 of everything. It's just 14. I think the average farm will produce uh, six, unless I go for, oops. So I think Cannon is where I want to start. Yeah. All right, let's build our headquarters here. It's a small town. It should be okay. Let's see, where is the farmer's market? It's over here. I want to build my warehouses very close to these things. So I'll, I'll just put this over here. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So now I have rights to build everything within this area. And I think the river forms a boundary as well. So there's plenty of land up here. Oh, this is beautiful. This will be great. Okay, let's choose our tech tree. And... One thing I wanted to look at is, I haven't done this before, but building bigger farms. So more farm storage, two crop fields, orchard fields, and plantation fields, and then livestock fields. Ooh, I should I should unlock this pretty quickly. I'll probably do that. Okay, so I need to do stuff. I need vegetables. Although honestly, these are really easy to unlock. Like you get them in two months. I need to start with something though. Uh, chicken and eggs. I don't want to get something up to take a long time to distribute. Logistics and administration. Bridges is important to get. Um, basic distribution. And then we need, uh, eventually we'll get trains going. Efficiency. What does this do? Oh, you can just set different percentages. As I said, I'm not completely familiar with the game. Well, we'll just we'll just start unlocking produce. So veggies. There we go. We got veggies. I do want to do something on the second tier. So one of these maybe. No, again, if I do that, I have to distribute it. It doesn't matter. I'll just research stuff as I need to. Okay, veggies, eggs, skip that. Berries. There we go, berries. Olives. Where's olives? I think that's all of my free tech. Veggies, berries, olives. And then we're going to research oranges. That's very strange. We're going to research oranges, apples, sugar, and cotton and rubber. Where does cotton and rubber come in? Cotton. Mm, I don't know where it is. Hmm. What 
is that? Fluff. Raw rubber. There we go. Okay. That's my goal, to get all those things running. Oh, I also need to do this. I forgot to do this. Irrigation tower. And I don't think I need the expanded radius. So I'm going to put that up there. Actually, if I could... Yeah, let's get the oranges going again. All right. All right, that should do it. Beautiful. Okay, so we need a warehouse right next to here. If I can. We'll research later on better roads, but this is good enough for now. Okay, so that's going to be the warehouse where we bring all the materials for the farmer's market. Later on, we'll do the hardware store. And then I need, like, farms. Because the way it works is you don't want... Let's build farm. Let's build a re warehouse out here. Let's make sure it's not in that radius. Actually, let's move a little further out. I'm... Mm, there's plenty of trees. I shouldn't worry about that too much. Let's just go a little bit further out. Okay. Oh, that, that zoomed in. Right-click zooms in, apparently. Okay. And now we need some farms. So we needed um, 14 vegetables. Vegetables, berries, and olives, I think, is what I have. Vegetables go on the crop farm. is going to be called vegetable. And this will make, every 30 days it will make six, because it has three of these. So we'll have two of these. So I think it's X to copy. Yeah. Oh, we need some water as well. Let's use the water well. Now I need the road to connect it all up. Hey, I, I connected you up. Okay. Uh, berries. We can do berries as well. Wait, Orchard is, is, uh, I don't think I can fit it. Let's try to fit it the same shape here. Let's rotate the map a little bit. Okay, and this is olives. And then we'll do another one. X. Yeah, it's complaining about not being able to connect. But that's easily fixed. Okay. And then we need, the last is berries. Berries are on plantations. Okay. Now we need to make sure we get enough water for all these farms. They need one water every month. This produces six water in a month. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, each one of these requires three. So three, six. Okay, six times three is 18. I need 18 water. That's a lot of water.
So we'll do one, two. Oh, yeah, we just need three of these guys now. Okay, and a road. Okay, it looks like we are good to go. Uh, last thing, we need to basically export. Well, well, we'll get stuff when we get stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set it a little faster. And what should happen is that the water, yeah, the water's making water. And then once it gets some water, it's going to drop it off here in the warehouse. The warehouse will distribute it. I'll have a water tower later that'll do all the distribution. And I'll move that thing around. They are just waiting for water. done and here it comes a okay, one two three trucks and we can check the supply here and the farms are going to the warehouse to get the water looks like this guy's going I guess. You can zoom out a lot if you wanted to, of course. Then we just paid everybody. We lost three hundred thousand dollars that month. I don't know what that guy's doing. Doesn't make any sense. That happens every once in a while, but I'm not entirely certain why. I don't know if you can see the olives grow. I guess you can. Carrots, yay. Let's see the production here. They're all lined up to get that juicy, juicy water. Okay, we had some carrots come in. Okay, yeah, we have some vegetables. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, let's say carrots, vegetables are gonna go to this warehouse. We're going to make sure that they have four, only send full trucks. We also have olives going to this warehouse. Again, make sure you have full trucks and then we're gonna have what was the other one? Berries, right? Going over here. And make sure they have four and full trucks. I don't think they're gonna get four because we can't produce them that fast. All right, let's go ahead. You can see the trucks are heading out. Driving through the city. Like a circle. Yeah, there we go. We should make some. Yeah, we made a hundred thousand dollars. Sixty-five thousand, one hundred seventy-five thousand. Okay, we lost three hundred thousand last month as well. Let's see what happens this month. Well, I am spending stuff on research, so. We made money, 87,000. Good, we're turning a little profit. We can check here to see how we're satisfying the demand here. Every 15 days it'll sell what we have in there. 
five, six, and seven. Oh, sold it all. Yeah. Hmm. Eighty-seven thousand dollars last month. Okay, we have a bit of a business here. Let's get this irrigation towers built. I, I love irrigation towers; they're awesome. You don't have to have trucks driving around with water in them. And here it comes. Pause the game there. You pause when you build so you can undo your build. So. All right. We need to move these guys now. Is there a command to move them? Hmm. You know, let's actually not build it there then. Let's build it over here. Navigation tower. No, oh, let's not do that, actually. Let's put it a little closer so we can have a road just runs up and down. Okay, we're going to change this guy. He is going to... Um, we're going to go manual to here. Uh, this guy is going to go manual to... Oh, to here. And this guy... Let's just tear this guy down. Let's just tear him down. Let's get it all on one side here. So we can get a water, water well. And have that all hook up there. Again, this is going to be, I should have copied and pasted. Because it will copy the directions. All right, there we go. Now these guys, they, yeah, they'll go, they'll go to the water tower instead. They should deliver the water to either the farms or to here. Researching oranges now. These guys will automatically get the water that they want so they can keep growing. I'm going to start a new one in this space under the oranges that we're going to get. should have extra water. Nope, he doesn't. Well, we got to catch up with the uh, local storage of these guys. This guy is what I wanted to see. Yeah. Oranges is almost done. Let's actually cut this out there. $20,000 last year. We got oranges. Okay. Let's build oranges over here. I think it's an orchard, right? Or the wide way. Connect 
everything up. And that should be good to go. We'll need to route oranges when they come in. Oranges destination will be, of course, this one. Only full loads and make sure there's up to four. Maybe I should do that to seven or eight or something like that. Let's actually bump this up to like, let's do to eight. guys. I don't know if they're growing. I think they're growing. No, they're not. They don't have water. There, now they're growing. Yeah, they're both growing now. four in there if we can. One thousand dollars last month. berries. Anyway, now it's a lot of waiting. Let's turn the speed up. While we wait for apples. Okay, we got apples. We made 25,000 last month as well. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Apples are an orchard. These are apples. We need some more water. If we don't have enough water, it will be bad. here we actually maxed out our berries there we want to check the town we want to get the town to as prospering okay that's what we want so the town can grow there we go there's some apples coming in you see all those beautiful juicy apples uh, beautiful juicy apples are not gay they're actually quite good I'm sorry okay Thankfully, I can edit this video. Wait, what did I just research? Did I just research sugar? Sugar is a plantation thing. Plantation. All right. That's sugar. We're going to do sugar. Sugar one. And then X, copy U. We need some more water. Water wells. We 
good I did that wrong. I need that. You know what? I don't think I had the water well pointed the right direction. No, that's done right. Navigation tower. Yeah, we don't want that. We want you to go here. Oh, we need to get the sugar going to this warehouse again. Full loads only. And eight. I assume sugar is in the market, right? Yeah, it's the last thing in the market. So we're doing everything now. We're going to get cotton and rubber for the hardware store. So when that comes online, I'll build a warehouse for that. not have enough trucks. Okay, so we got cotton. Okay, so cotton. Uh, more water is what we need. Quatin. Maybe I should build another warehouse with the farms. I think this is ah. I can build some more down here. Okay, so what did I, I I researched I researched cotton. I don't know where cotton's grown. Is it grown on it's not grown on it's probably grown on plantations, isn't it? Yeah, it's going on plantation. So let's go ahead and take this. Take that. Wait, is this within range of the of the irrigation tower? That one is. I don't know about the other one. We'll do another one. We'll see what happens. Okay, let's see what happens. Does this guy get water? Well, he got some water. He got, okay, he got all the water. He's fine. Okay, that's fine. Oh, wait, we need to ship the cotton down. Oh, we need a warehouse for the hardware store. Okay, let's do that. Another warehouse. Yes, thank you. the hardware warehouse so we are going to ship that to this hardware warehouse like that apparently we've already got some cotton sold huh that was fast We made three hundred twenty-one thousand dollars last month, and we got the rubber. So we have researched the rubber. 
Hmm. Uh, rubber is orchard. Yes, it is. Okay, let's go ahead and do some terraforming. We're going to flatten. Oh, it won't let me. Cannot afford. We will not do that then. What we will do is build an orchard. Let's mirror this one. Hmm. Two. Three. And this will be rubber. Oh, we're out of money, aren't we? this all. Let's borrow some money. Let's go borrow some money. Headquarters. Loans. Take out a loan. Uh, anybody from Canon? Settlement loan. This is five million dollars. What a ten million dollar loan. Fifteen million. I'll take that. Except. It's going to be a lot of money. Okay, so we need to get this road. There. We do need to research more advanced roads. Let's go ahead and do that and start our research on the tech tree for roads. Bridges, and then we'll start getting into trains. We do need an additional water. And maybe they'll take shortcuts through there. I don't know. would like to locate this down a little bit further at the risk of yeah let's not do that let's just build this way all right oh wait we didn't label this one this is uh rubber rubber one this is rubber two and then you yeah you collect from there you're gonna take the raw rubber and you're going to send it to here. Full loads and have up to eight there. How are we doing in our little farmer's market there? We're selling lots of stuff. This loan is going to be expensive. Whoa, where are you going? Oh, wow. I thought that was connected. I can't see the roads. Whoa, why are you going that way, bud? Stop that.
There you go. Now it's going the right way. Permit to build in the region Ben Lomond. Let's see where Ben Lomond is. Let's pause it. That's Takuma. That's Poplarville. That's San... I don't care about that. Oh, these guys also wanted trees, I believe. Lumber. Yeah, they do. Let's make a lumber. A lumber thing. Um, away from the farm. So over here is fine. Lumber yard. I'm not very careful. I think I should be careful about where I put these, but I'm not. And that might be a bad thing. I'm not really certain. And this guy will produce um, three harvesters. I don't know. I don't know what it's gonna produce. Let's build a warehouse nearby. It's probably a waste of money. But we'll see. And I'll figure out how much it produces and then and we'll see what happens. All right, this is gonna take lumber. send it over to here. How much does this guy need? He's seven. So full loads up to eight. Let's see how much he makes. Every 15 days he makes three, I think. Is that one unit of lumber or? Yeah, just three. So six a month, and this guy wants 14, so let's build another one. Build urban roads now. Let's go ahead and replace these roads here. And these ones as well. And these ones. Oh, there's some more roads to replace as well. probably make one-way roads. I haven't done one-way roads, but it makes sense to make them. Uh, let's do one-way roads next. Maybe faster roads. Hmm. Plus four train capacity. some water stored up that's good yeah ok 
for making 12 units a month. We should be giving plenty of lumber here. After this, there's animal products that we can get into. Um, but I'm going to stick to vegetables and I'm going to try to build out my network to other towns. So I'm going to, this town up here, for instance, let's see what he wants. He wants cocoa, berries, wheat, and milk. Hmm, interesting milk. And it looks like animal products. They want leather. They want rubber and cotton as well. So I'll have to build that out. And what I'll try to do, do is build like centers that make like only one type of resource. And that should make it a little more efficient because you don't have a warehouse that the warehouse can fill up with that one resource and nobody will care. Right? But we need to be somewhat judicious in how we do that. So this network is purely for this town. Um, I'm going to find a resource that like all the surrounding towns need. Like, let's say this guy, he wants berries, right? And then the, oh, I can't build bridges yet, so I'll have to stick to the side of the water. And Tacoma, he wants that stuff. Olives, looks like, is there anything? Sugar, sugar, yeah. Potatoes, potatoes are pretty profitable. Sugar, sugar is good. And this guy, what does he want? doesn't want sugar. So maybe sugar. There's another town over here. Ben Lomond. He wants sugar. Yeah, so it looks like we build up some sugar to distribute among these towns. We leave this alone. This is this will just be making a little bit of money all the time. Not very much money, just a little bit. And eventually this town is supposed to, I haven't seen it happen yet in this game, but eventually it's supposed to ask for new things, right? so it should be very prospering yeah it's prospering so I have to think about and how much do these guys want to move in 26 million yeah California I'm constantly losing money that's pretty bad why did I lose so much money last time I'm just not able to get these goods out fast enough, it looks like. thousand last month so what's going on here oh destination storage is full okay so we have more than enough there I kind of don't care about that so now I need to start thinking about distributing up here to San Leandro I'll use trains to travel the longer distances between towns When I, once I get bridges, I can build bridges over the water. So yeah, that's probably what I do next episode. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.